yeah, we got it going on, yeah, 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 we got it going on, yeah. Okay. I'm walking right now. I'm walking. And I want to... Oh, I can't even see it's so damn dark out here. This is the only fucking light. I'm going to walk into the light right now. But I'm walking, okay? And I'm thinking about... I just took a shit before I started walking. And you know when you shit, like sometimes it comes out in like little... Sometimes when you shit, it like... It's like hard for you to shit, right? It's like sometimes when you shit, it, it all comes out. Or sometimes when you shit, you just strain, you're like... Uh, you're straining and it's like fucking little things come out like <laughs> just little ass shits come out and you're like what the fuck man you know i had to take a shit and then your stomach's bothering you all fucking day well i'm talking to you i want to talk to you about fiber fiber is um very good for the digestive system um now there's two there's two different types of fiber there's fiber that's called insoluble fiber and fiber that's soluble fiber insoluble fiber and soluble fiber those are the two different fibers there are and i want to talk about soluble fiber first soluble fiber is basically like whoa a fucking thing came and flew in my face soluble fiber is a thing is is basically foods that break down in your body after chewing them they go like if you were to take something and dip it into water and it would just dissolve you know, it would just dissolve in water. That's, in, that's that's soluble fiber. If you would eat, like fruit, basically, when you eat it, it just you eat it, you chew it up, and then when it goes inside your belly, when it goes inside your intestines, your intestines squeeze it and absorbs it, and it sits in your stomach and then it dissolves. Just, okay, that's soluble fiber. Now insoluble fiber is different. Insoluble fiber, like rice, things like that, like green banana, those type of fibers that are called insoluble fiber, meaning eat it and you chew it after chewing it it's going to go through your intestines and it's going to stay the same and when water if you have water water is always going to be in your body and once that food once the insoluble fiber absorbs water it's going to puff up and that's what gives you the bulk of your tummy that's what gives you the bulk of your belly that's what fills you that's what puffs your belly out it's not a bad thing whatsoever it just means you're fucking full okay now that's insoluble fiber Basically rice, you know, green banana, things that are, you know, I think nuts are like that too. But that's insoluble fiber. Basically when you eat it, and it doesn't change the texture. Once it's in your body, it stays like that. When water hits it, it absorbs, you know, and it gets bigger. And it puffs up in your stomach and your intestines. Now, for those of you who eat rice, now me, I eat rice daily. I eat rice every single fucking day. But I try to change it up every two to three days. Every two to three days, I try to change up my diet. I don't mean like dramatically. Like I just change it up like two or three days, I'll eat rice for dinner. I mean, obviously in the morning, I'm eating. every Each and every day, I'm eating a balance of soluble and insoluble fiber. I'm having a balance of soluble and insoluble fiber each and every day. Okay, but it's good to, you know, change up. You know, go soluble fiber the entire day, you know, insoluble fiber the entire day and have a balance, you know. So I'm going to speak about this right now. Like my, my, my days are basically eating fruit in the morning. Fruit is basically has a lot of ins has a lot of soluble fiber. OK, I'm sorry, my arm is getting tired. So fruit has a lot of soluble fiber. And when I eat my lunch or when I eat my lunch, when I eat my dinner, I have uh, rice, a lot of rice, like maybe two three cups of rice with a bunch of avocados and you know lettuce tomatoes and ginger and things like that and i eat a lot of fucking rice and that's that's a lot of insoluble fiber now that's a good thing because insoluble fiber what that does is it doesn't change you know when you eat it it goes and it puffs up in your intestines that's what gives you the bulk and that bulk pushes out everything in its everything that everything in its way in your intestines so if you have food stuck in your intestines from the previous day the insoluble fiber is going to push all that shit up because it puffs up the water absorbs i mean the insoluble fiber absorbs the water and it pushes out everything and then it goes into your stomach and it's still inflamed it's just giving you that big ass fucking belly a full feeling you're like ugh. 
And then in the morning, you wake up and you shit it out. That's that insoluble fiber pushes that shit for what you ate from the previous day, okay? But, you know, if you're getting, if you're eating too much insoluble fiber now, there's a bad thing. It's a bad thing only when you're fit, when your tummy starts to feel, you know, like, fuck, you know? Your tummy starts to feel bloated all the time because you're eating a lot of insoluble fiber. You're not having a balanced diet of soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. So mix it up. You know, try to eat things that are, that, that, that are water soluble, that are like, that are soluble. Like, soluble is like noodles. Noodles are not like rice. Noodles are not like rice. Noodles are actually soluble fiber. So how I eat, like maybe I'll eat three days for dinner with my rice. And then I'll eat some beans the next day or whatever for, for dinner. And then the next day I'll have like a large, instead of rice, I'll substitute my rice dinner for noodles. So I'll have fruit in the morning and then I'll have like a pack of, a whole pack of noodles or maybe a pack and a half. Because noodles aren't that much. Noodles aren't, I like to eat a lot of volume and one pack is not enough. Like I like to splurge when I eat, I like to splurge. And um, I like to eat everything all at once. And noodles are very high in soluble fiber. Noodles are basically soluble fiber. There's no insoluble fiber in noodles. Noodles break down if noodles absorb water. And that is what balances out your digestive system when you combine soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. I hope this I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying because this may be confusing to a lot of us. But let me just say this again. Insoluble fiber is basically foods like rice, grain. That when you eat it, it does not change when you, once you chew. That texture stays the same inside your body. It does not break down. It breaks down, obviously. But it takes a longer time to break down. And it bulks up the intestines. It bulks up the belly. It bulks up the stomach. It bulks up the intestines. Because the insoluble fiber, what it does, it does not change texture. And it absorbs water and inflames. It grows. Like, you know, when you take a sponge and the sponge gets fatter? That's what insoluble fiber is. Soluble fiber is the total opposite. Soluble fiber breaks down. Both of them break down, but soluble fiber dissolves, you know? That's why when you eat a soluble fiber meal, you're not as fucking bulged compared to when you eat rice. When you eat rice, your fucking belly's bulged. You have a bulge because you've eaten rice. Rice inflames the gut, but it's not a bad thing. It just means you're full. That's what that's, rice is always gonna be insoluble fiber. That's how it is. That's why a lot of us don't eat grain. Because they think they're gonna they think they're getting fat, but in reality, it's just helping your digestive system. It's helping you. As long as you're having a balanced diet of insoluble, insoluble fiber. Now when I say as long as you're having a balanced diet, don't get don't get all crazy and like, oh my god, I'm gonna die because I'm eating too much rice. No. Don't cut back on your rice, don't cut back on anything. Just have a balanced diet. Now, I will probably list a bunch of soluble and insoluble fiber foods in the description so you can have an idea of what is what you know so you can shit better and won't have any bloating feelings won't have any gassy feelings you know there's a lot of us are tend to gas you know when when we're at work and you want to fart and there's so much people everywhere you're like fuck you know and you're like fuck i gotta fart you know everybody goes through that shit you know i've gone through that shit sometimes i don't give a fuck i just fart i just be like, I just be like what i just be like i don't give a fuck you know i just fart you know i don't give a shit you gotta fart you gotta fart Fuck you gonna hold it in. Walk away or something, you know? Walk away, walk that way and just go fart. Walk by the door, just walk outside and just go fart. Walk in the bathroom and fart. Walk in the hallway and fart. You know, act makes you know, just fart. You know, and if you have to take a shit, take a shit. Don't be afraid to take a shit. You have to pee, pee. Don't be afraid to just go take a piss. I know a lot of us are afraid to take a shit when we're at work. I know a lot of us are afraid to do a lot of things when we're at work. Don't be afraid, you know. So like I said before, I'll probably list a uh, bunch of foods that are soluble and insoluble fiber in, the, in my description, so check that out so you guys can have an idea of the foods, the foods that are good to eat to have a balanced diet. So, have a good diet, eat well, use salt, you know, now I'm not saying salt, like don't go out and buy the fucking seasoning called salt, but like use soza, you use a sodium that's, that's salty, but that doesn't, you know, contain high sodium as long as it's you know 100 milligrams or less you're good you know even sauces that are 100 milligrams or less you're good 
if it's ranch and you like ranch and it's 100 milligrams or less of the sodium, you're good. Buy ranch. You know, if you like fucking honey mustard and, it, and the honey mustard has 100 milligrams of sodium or less, buy fucking honey mustard, you know. Use that, you know, as long as it's low sodium. That's all that matters. And the balanced diet of fruits and vegetables will balance out your sodium intake because fruit and vegetables get rid of the fucking sodium. That's what you pee out. And that's what you sweat out too. So as long as you're eating a balanced diet, everything will take place. You'll lose weight, you'll find the answers that you're looking for, and your and health will come. So I hope this video has helped you. I don't know how long this video has been, but I'm sorry to waste your time. And you guys have a good day. I'm gonna keep on walking and enjoy the night. It's pretty breezy right now. It's fall, it's October. It's the maze, the weather feels fucking amazing. You guys have a good day. Make sure you guys eat good. Peace.